What's up everybody? Today I was having this issue with uh, installing React Native and Tailwind CSS. Um, everything was working fine until I installed Native Win and Tailwind CSS for my mobile app. Just to want to customize and make CSS customization for my app. And I've already done this before, but it wasn't working for me this time for some reason, and I was wondering why. And I, f I was able to figure out the issue, and I was assuming a lot of people are having this issue. So I'm here to show you how I solved this issue, specifically this issue where it's saying, okay, uh, C users, this is, my, this is just my file location, at node modules export router entry.js, right? There's, a, there's, a, there's an error at entry.js, right? Plugins is not a valid plugin property. That's what it's telling us, right? It's not a lot of information. I didn't even touch this file, so it was a little weird, right? And let me go to the native wind installation, how how I installed how I installed native wind. So if you guys see this, this is the um, if you guys go to native wind.dev slash v2 slash quick starts slash expo, you guys can see how to install native wind for your expo app. So I'm assuming if you already did this, but you can do the npx create expo my app, and then you can cd into that app using the terminal. Now this is where the installation starts, so you want to do npm install native wind. This is what the installation, I'm just right now I'm just going through what the installation has told me to do, and I'll tell you how to actually avoid this error, or fix it if you're having this issue. So let's say you npm install native wind right here. So now it's installing. You see right here, npm install native wind. Okay, that's done. Now what you want to do is you want to go back. You want to go back and then do npm install save dev this. Just copy it. Just copy that. And you want to go back to your Visual Studio Code, right? Go back to your Visual Studio Code and install that again. Right? I've already done this. I'm just doing it again so you guys maybe can see it again how I installed Native Win and Tailwind CSS. Now, if you scroll down, it says run npx tailwind.init to create. So I've, I'm not going to do this since I've already done it. But what you want to do is you want to copy this, copy this, go back into your Visual Studio Code, and just run it, right? Press enter, right? So I'm not going to press enter because I've already done it. Once you've done that, you want to go down to this, so you it, it creates a tailwind.config.js. So once you run this, you should have a tailwind.config.js, right? And you want to copy this, so you can just copy this. You just want to, you can just copy this line here, or just copy the whole thing. Remove you you want to remove the plus sign as well. Remove the plus sign. Just copy everything here, right? So it's gonna it's gonna include. So basically, what this line does. It includes the customization, the CSS, into any of those files that you've stated in the content section, right? And that's what it's doing. And these are just the file names, the type, the types of file names. So .js, .jsx, .ts, .tsx, right? And I'll show you how mine looks like, just so you have an example. Tailwind.config.js. This is how mine looks like, right? This is this is how mine looks like. Sorry, I remember the wrong one. This is how mine looks like, right? And now you also want to do the last part. The last step is to modify your Babel config.js, right? And this you just want to add this one line, right? So if if you go into this, you also so now what you want to do, let me just let me just switch it. You guys might not be able to see it. So now what you want to do, the last step, is to modify the, the babel.config.js, right? And you just want to add the plugins native uh, win slash babel, right? So you can see here, it's just adding this, right? Just adding this line. 
right here, right? And I'll show you how mine looks like. If you guys see right here, I added the native win slash babble for the, the plugins, uh, the plugin section right here. So you see right here, just highlighted it for you guys. And as you see here, so let me go back to the native wind Google Chrome just to make sure to show you that I follow all the steps. I followed all the steps that it's outlined. I followed all the steps. That's the third step, and now it says you're ready to code, right? As it says, but the issue that I was having, it was still giving me this issue, right? It was still giving me iOS. So now if I try to run it, let's say if I run my code, right here, start.c, so give it a minute. Now let me, now that I've run my code, I'm gonna run it on my phone that I'll have here. I'll also screen record how it looks on my phone so you guys have an idea how it looks. So now I'm opening the project on my phone as we speak. See if you guys can see it right here. I'm opening the phone, opening, it's just opening, just waiting, I'm just waiting for it to load. Right, it takes like 30 seconds. Come back, now you can see the, see? So as you guys can see here, it's not working on my phone, right? Even though I followed the steps, it's not working, right? What you have to do is, what you gotta do is, so you wanna, I wanna stop this, and I wanna change package, so you wanna go to your package.json, and you see how native win is 4.1.20? You gotta change it to version two, right? Because the thing is, on native win, the one the website that we checked was only for version two. Was we gotta change? Sorry, it, right now it's on version four. We wanna change it to version two. That's why it's giving us this error, right? So when I so now what I wanna do, I wanna go. So I have it right here. Let me just. So you wanna do? Let me just make sure this is visible for you guys. npm install native wind at 2.0.11 this is the latest version 2 um, version 2 update right after this they're they didn't make any they're not doing any more changes for version 2 now they're just focusing on version 4 so if you're if you're if your native wind is for version 4 version 2 this is what you want to do npm install native wind at 2.0.11 uh, right so you want to install this so click it It's just taking some time. Okay, um, as you see, it's installed. Now what I want to do is run it again. npx expo.start.sli. See, just to refresh it again, to refresh the bundle cache. Rebuilding, rebuilding, rebuilding. You guys can probably skip this step, skip this part a little bit while it's rebuilding. Get to the end to see if it actually worked. You know? And yeah, so now it's done loading. I'm, gonna, oh, I'm loading it up on my phone. You guys probably not be able to see, but yeah, I'm loading it. Loading it, loading it, loading it. You guys can probably be able to tell too because it'll show, it'll show in the bottom. Right, be right below the logs, be below the control C to exit. Yeah, now you see it's loading. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Yeah, so as you can see here, my app is actually working now. Uh, you guys might not be able to see, I'm going to screen record it for you guys. But now it's working. And you see, and I, you can see how it's bundled, right? It's a green, it's bundled, right? So what you want to do is, for the native wind, you want to go to your version 2, right? This is this 
this software, this, this link that I've shown you right here, chrome.nativewind, is for version 2, right? But the thing is, when you do npm install native wind, they install the latest, they install the latest one, right? So you have to change it to the version 2. Uh, that's how you do it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments, and I'll make sure to answer as much as I can. Take care.